Do this one more time on your own. Connecting with the breath. Just hold with your palms right at the heart. Take another deep breath in. Now you're going to inhale. Bring both arms up over your head. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Bring your hands down back onto the ground. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step back, top of a push-up, and just hold here for a moment. Hold here. Now just in the spirit that there's a lot of you here, and obviously, I don't know your practices. Let's modify this so that everyone has some sense of how to do this to protect their bodies. So put your knees on the ground. Point your toes away from you. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, bend your elbows and lay your whole body down onto the floor. Don't stick your butt up, though. Just lay flat. Just make the connection with the earth beneath you. Make the commitment of getting wet, because it's going to probably happen. <laughs> now you're going to slide your hands back just a little bit. And inhale, lift your chest up off the ground, but keep your belly plastered right into the earth. And take another deep breath. Shoulders draw back. Kneecaps lift up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your chest back down onto the floor. Curl your toes under and press back into downward facing dog. And breathe. Now, please feel comfortable to modify anything that you do here. Take a gazillion breaks. Do whatever you need to do to really respect your body, any limitations. The intention is just to move and breathe and release a little bit of tension. And so, and also, of course, hold a space. Hold a space within your heart and within this environment for change, for peace, for altruism, and for connection. So if that means just sitting down and meditating and breathing or praying, then you're doing a beautiful expression of yoga for today. Now come back into a push-up position. You're either going to put your knees on the ground or take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower to four inches off the floor. It's kind of hovering. Now inhale, come into upward dog or cobra and hold. So if you're in cobra, you're going to keep your belly or your hips on the ground. Otherwise, you're going to keep your arms straight. Take another deep breath in and exhale downward facing dog so now those are your options this style of yoga is called vinyasa flow and obviously it's a more rhythmic form of yoga it increases the circulation the respiration the lymphatic flow it helps to bring more elasticity into the muscles and the joints and the connective tissue the most important thing you can do in this practice and in all yoga is to breathe so you're going to take another very deep breath, stretch it back, and then walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, look up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to standing all the way, arms reach, and exhale, pull the energy straight to the center of the heart. Let's go again. Inhale, arms reach, ready. Exhale, fold all the way forward, hands onto the ground. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step back, top of a push-up, hold. Either lower down four inches or modify with the knees down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, downward dog. And breathe. Breathe. Now, when you're practicing yoga, especially on the earth, where the levels are a little bit destabilized, it's really important that you make the connection with your foundation, meaning your hands press, your feet extend. You want to make sure that that foundation is secure, otherwise you destabilize your skeleton. So find that base, take another deep breath, stretch it back, and then walk or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come on up all the way. Arms reach. And exhale, palms right at the heart. Hold here. Good. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold all the way forward. 
Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana or modify. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog and breathe. Deep, deep breaths. So if you happen to find a, a pair of strange hands on you that aren't mine, those are going to be Eddie Modestini's. <laughs> Yay, Eddie! Mm -hmm. And he's qualified to be touching you. Just One, FYI. Two, yep, <laughs> eight, eight. Now you're going to take another very deep breath, stretch it back, and then walk or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale from the kidneys, pull forward, exhale and fold. Inhale, come on up all the way, reach, exhale, palms right at the heart. So Surya Namaskara A and B means it's a salute to the sun, it's a ritual. So we're going to do this next one more ritualistically and connect with the intention. So you're going to inhale, arms reach, and acknowledge the Father. Exhale, fold all the way and connect to the mother. You're going to inhale, look forward to the children. Exhale, float back and honor the earth. You're going to inhale, open your heart to the heavens. And exhale, fold to your own divinity and breathe. Breathe. That's it. Take one more deep breath, stretch it back, and then walk or jump your feet to your hands. You're going to inhale to truth and fold to faith. Inhale, come on up all the way, arms reach to love. And then pull that energy straight down to the center of your heart and bow to the God within. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to the Father. Exhale to the Mother. Inhale to the children. Exhale to the earth. Inhale to the heavens. Exhale. Bow to your own divinity and breathe. Just breathe. Take another deep breath, stretch back, and then float your feet to your hands. Inhale to truth, fold to faith. Inhale, come on up all the way, arms reach to love, and exhale, bow to the God within. 